going on, everybody? This is Chris Carmouche, engineer, producer, mixer, songwriter. Had the pleasure of working with folks like Outkast, Lil Jon, Ludacris, T.I., Akon, Tiny Temper, Major Lazer, Janelle Monet. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia, Astro Studios, the B Room. And what I'm working on right now, this artist, Baby Rose, she has a single called In Your Arms. Great record. She has a very unique, stylish voice. I actually about to remix the record. We're gonna see how we can put the icing on it with some old box and get it a little bit of flair, you know, just to add already to her very unique voice. So uh, this is without any old box playing. Turn away, show cold, but I'll never get there uh, if I go slow. Looking around with my head down, and it doesn't look too good where I stand now. Cause I tried my best, and it just didn't feel right. I walked that path without that piece of my eye. Ovox got so many cool factory presets, it's like it's an endless amount of things. Tell you the truth, like when I first opened up this thing, just when I hit the full reset of sound and jamming, I came across this doubler effect. It's called Sweetener. And I think it would sound great with her oohs and ahs and stuff. So I Like we're just trying to do something like go on into some fourth dimension space stuff. So I think that kind of sounds cool. Let's see how it sounds with the record. Cause I tried my best and it just didn't feel right. I walked that path without that piece of my eye. Looked around at everyone but inside. Like where do I go? Why do I go? Let's move. You know, it's not doing too much, but it's like it's kind of helping like warp the whole track out, give it something different than what the original was. You know, I came across something else on her lead vocal. This, you know, how you could dance with her her lead vocals. Mellow Love. I think that fits perfectly what we're doing. We're doing some smooth, hard riding music. I think Mellow Love probably fits just perfectly. Where I stand now. That's a funky ride right there. Say so something like that, I'll probably like put that on the chorus, have the maybe the verse probably be without it and then automate it and come in like once the hook comes in, because like it helps it the, the record just expand. So that's that, yeah, that's a cool vibe. You know, this thing got so many cool features in here. It's like, you know, I'm using a nice MIDI, just a regular MIDI controller right on the side. Turn away, away. So that's your sound with the MIDI. The way that you can expand it out and it has so many different details, like I'm seeing like you can play around with this pad and get the different textures. Wow. And then it's crazy. You got two options. You got the Ovox one, and then you can add a second one on there. It sounds just go exponentially just crazy. One thing doing one thing and another doing the other. It's crazy. Turn away, show go, and I'll never be there. If I go slow, look around, put my head down, and it doesn't look too good. It's weird like you have all these modulators and all these different settings. It's like you got a collaborator with the software. It's like y'all y'all talking right now, y'all communicating. <laughs> you just you're asking them like, hmm, 
what you do and this and it all of a sudden say hello my name is amplitude and i'm gonna make your sound just pop up <laughs> you can just throw it anywhere you want and just see what it does and, and like you can, you can add it with a friend you can have modulator one and amplitude talk to each other Turn away, show You can dial them in however you want, and then you could put them wherever knob that you see. And then on top of this, you got this note mapper where you can make chords, and it goes from something like this. Turn away, show Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Super creative with it. You can put in different effects on here. Put in a chorus, a reverb, and you can EQ it too. This is crazy. When I came across Ovox and I was trying to think of some type of presets, I was just trying to put myself like in, well, what would I do in certain situations? Like, I was beatboxing, and one thing that I was I liked about it how you can actually talk into it and create a sound. So I actually started like beatboxing. I just started like getting these sounds, these crazy like different sounds. And I started saying, okay, well, I could just make this like an instrument. And then that was like the cool thing about it. So I started, I recorded the beatbox and then I just kind of did some type of effects and I just modified it to where it felt like you could use it almost as an instrument. So it's almost as if you can have a record doing going on and you like the rhythm that you're going, so you could just almost play out the rhythm, but then you could just make up your own keys and like to follow the, the rhythm of the song. So let's see how it sounds with these drums. This one is called Record Me. So you can use the drums as your rhythmic form and then add the melodic element from the old box and then just have a whole another you know, instrument all together. So I think it's kind of dope. Another preset that I came up with and I was just having the idea of just like, well, let me let me just add like extra vocals to, you know, like this. Let me put like a, a fifth up and a octave down just to make it sound like this wicked. So, you know, just, just to kind of play around, like just make it fun, make it playful. So. One of these ideas that I had is I call it me, me, me. It's basically, it's just different versions of yourself playing all at once. Let's add it this. And this is something actually that I'm playing at the end of the song where I already had put like a filter effect on the whole record. And so if I was to like kind of have this going, you know, I would add this like at the end just to kind of add something kind of like trippy on it. So as, as the record's kind of going out and you're hearing, hearing the song playing. And for this last one, what I did, you know, I, I called it Tickle Me. This was just me basically having fun with the with a plug in. Just wanted to have like a sound where you could play it on the vocal and it has this kind of tremolo effect, you know, just to have the record come in, and make it sound a little radio, just to add some this, you know, just playing with it. So let me see how this sounds. If I go slow. It's keeping the, the the main kind of vibe of what you originally did, but it's just to kind of add this this extra little effect to it. It's like you know you just make it sound like you just got sucked into another another space. One of the things that I kind of get fascinated with with how Ovox is 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 the way how it's put together. It's like some other you know vocoders and stuff. Like it seemed like 
you have one piece, but now you're missing another piece. You got one piece, but now you're missing another one. Then you got to probably try to add, search for a different plugin or whatever. You got to put, you know, this part may not work as efficient as the other. So it's like you, you only could do one, you know, only so much. But it feels like they figured out how to make everything just kind of come together where you have effects, you have these different modulators, you have like two uh, oscillators with the OVOX 1, OVOX 2, and you have this note mapper. And then they all work, can work independent from one another, and then they all can be collaborative. And it just kind of comes together and just make this unique sound. And it's just endless, this like you could, this endless possibilities, this things like a beast. I 